Hello guys, today I'm going to make a tour video about the parkour spiral that I built a few months ago. Alright, so let's start with the basement car park. So the basement car park is on the left lane. Just enter the door, take the left lane and go downstairs. Use the staircase, turn right and continue straight. And after that, after that you go down the staircase again and you can see there's automatic door in front of you. Just go pass through, it's automatic open. And there it is. This is the the basement one. The base the floor the basement floor one. So you can see this is the car park looks like. Let's continue down to basement two. So you're going you're going down a, with a staircase again. Just like that. And there is another automatic door. This is what basement 2 looks like. The area is just like that. And let's continue to basement 3. And here is the basement three. Is this is still the same uh, the same place as the basement two? There it is. Just like that. Let's move on to basement four. We're going down with uh, with another staircase here. Here is the basement floor, the basement floor. So there it is. Hmm, let's not using a staircase. Let's use another path. I'll go down with the car park path. So you can see this is what the basement car park looks like. Just go, just go down. And there's the elevator. And here it is. Here is the basement five. This is what this is what basement five looks like. And in front of you there is an elevator that brings you to the exit. You can see This is the elevator. You can use this elevator for the exit. And there's another elevator on the other side. And this elevator is is using is for going to parkour spiral. There it is. The other side of the elevator brings you to the parkour spiral and this is the storage room and the storage room is empty let's let's take the elevator so you can see yeah, in the elevator just push the button to go and leave what you like ok 
Okay, so now I'm on floor one, main lobby. As you can see, it's here. This is this path will brings you to the parkour spiral. Let's go back down. <coughs> Alright, so here is the basement one. Okay, so we are now at the basement one. Let's take the other side of the elevator. This elevator on the other side brings you to the exit. So there it is. Let's ride the elevator to the main lobby. And here is the exit. On the exit, just follow the path. And there it is. Here is the exit. As you can see now I'm at now I already passed the exit door. So this is the piece. There are two paths. One is on the left and one is on the right. And this one is the car park pad and the basement car park is on the left here, here it is the basement car park is on the left and the other pad is the is on its upper floor car park and there it is and here's the elevator to the basement. <coughs> and also let's go to the parkour spiral. You press the button again. And, and here it is. The parkour spiral. This will bring you to the parkour spiral. So you can see here. There are two paths. One is the skyscraper and the other one is the parkour spiral. The parkour spiral is on the right, the skyscraper is on the left. The skyscraper is does have an a staircase spiral. So you can see here there are a staircase spiral this side and the and this side. And here it is, there are six elevators in the skyscraper. But first I'll use the normal elevator. <coughs> the down and you can see here the skyscraper does have a link to the basement car park so here it is basement one car park and you can see there are two staircase spiral one is going upward and the other one is going downward so the, this this staircase is going upward it brings you to the lobby and the exit so all you have to do is just walk walk up 
you can see this is the staircase spiral after that the, after that there are two paths one is going to the lobby and the and the other one is going to the exit and the exit is on the right so all you have to do is just take the right you can see here one is going to the lobby and the other one is going to the exit so here it is after that just take left but i'm going back again Again to the basement car park so so here it is if you want to go to the basement car park again just take the right and it will bring you to the basement car park and there's the elevator is back again to the basement car park and here it is if you want to take the exit take the right take the staircase on the right there it is here is the exit just go up with a staircase continue straight then go right you can see it's here and here is the exit Let's talk about the skyscraper so the skyscraper has a staircase spiral that going up and going down but let's talk about the let's talk about the elevators in the skyscraper there are three elevators one is the express elevator and the normal elevator and the other one is the elevator that has access to swimming pool and the balcony. So first, I'll take the I'll take the elevator that access to a swimming pool. <coughs> so you can see this elevator has a roadside door. Let's go to the swimming pool. So just just swim and go anywhere you like. And you can explore the place. Here is the basement 5. We are now at the bottom floor. Let's go back up. And and this is the world deepest swimming pool that I made. You can see here. I'll go up one more level. I'll press the down. <coughs> and here is the main lobby.
let's go back up again go to the balcony this is where, where the balcony is and this is what the balcony looks like you can view the, the staircase spiral and the swimming pool let's go back down Let's try the normal elevator. And this is what normal elevator looks like. It doesn't have access to swimming pool and the balcony. It skips every balcony floor. You can see now I'm at the level 3. But let's go back down to this. Let's go back down with a staircase spiral. You can see here the exit is on the left you can see let's go back down This staircase spiral is going down to level 1. And after that, there are two paths. The exit is on the right and the lobby is on the left. So you can see here, to the if you want to go to the exit, take the right. And if you want to go to the lobby, take the left. Here is the exit. After that, there's an automatic door and continue straight. After that, you already reached the exit. Let's go back in again to the skyscraper. And there is, we are going again with the express elevator. And this is the express elevator let's go down with the express elevator this express elevator is going to the basement will bypass all basement floors and instantly go through the bottom floor and you can see here I'm now at the basement 5 And let's go back again. This is the upward. It also bypass all the basement floor and brings you back to lobby. So just like that. Let's go back down again. <coughs> see it bypass all basement floors and there it is there is a storage room here what this side and the other side so here and this pad is also going to the storage So you can see how the storage area looks like it is staircase spiral on the bottom floor you 
you can watch you can watch the underwater you can see how it looks like it is very large and the storage is kind of empty and there it is it requires a key to get access to the storage room so let's go back let's go back with the express elevator here I'll just take the normal elevator you can see the normal elevator will pass all basement floor but it doesn't have access to the swimming pool and the balcony the balcony is only on upper floor Let's take the express elevator here. So we are already at the lobby. And you can see this elevator will bypass all upper floors and will instantly bring you to the top of the parkour spiral. See here? it bypass all upper floors and instantly brings you to the top of the parkour spiral the top of the parkour spiral is floor 19 and the rooftop is on floor 21 As you can see here we are at the level 19 and this is the top of the parkour spiral Just like that. And here it is, another staircase spiral to car park. Let's go up to floor 20. I'll use the normal elevator. And you can see, this is the top of the swimming pool. you can see it and this one and this is the car park residence in front of here you can see this is the residence car park floor 20 let's go back to the elevator to floor 21 the elevator that has the swimming pool take the left side and this one is going to the rooftop going to the car park and this one is going to the swimming pool and you can see here there is a door that means that have access to the swimming pool so you can see this area is where you want to jump to the swimming pool so just jump jump and swim you 
can see this what it looks like from the inside inside you can see what the elevator looks like and this elevator also have a link to the staircase spiral you can see there's another elevator behind here this elevator has both sides door let's go back up and here is floor 20 And this is the staircase spiral. And this is going to the top floor, the floor 21. will brings you to the swimming pool and also to if you want to go to the swimming pool just take the left if you want to go to the exit just continue straight and this is the elevator operation Better operation looks like let's go to the rooftop and this is what the rooftop looks like it's really large here I built it all by myself it took over 4 hours to finish it also L car park elevator operation system and let's go back to the skyscraper
you can see it loops to the to the staircase that going downward here and this is the loading car park looks like see it has it has the car park elevator that brings you to a spiral so here is the level 19 we are going to the parkour spiral just follow the path keep going keep straight ahead as you can see the, this is what the area looks like and you can see this is the parkour spiral and a teleportation to the left yep it And continue straight and here it is you reach the top of the parkour spiral already so let's go down uh, because I want to show you something As you can see you are here and teleport to the other side Let's go to the elevator. I'll use the express elevator. This elevator bypass floor 20 and instantly brings you to floor 21. But it doesn't have access to the swimming pool. And there it is. This is the loading car park looks like. So I'll write the mine card so you can see just like that. And now let's talk about the car park spiral. As you can see here, these are the car park spiral looks like. Let's go down to the exit. As you can see, it go all the way around. It keep going around, just like the parkour spiral. Here is the floor twenty. You can see it goes all the way down. And here is the floor 19. And now we're going to the floor 16. And here is the floor 16. Take left to the floor 16. Take right to floor 15. And here it is again. Take left to floor 15. Now we are going to floor 11.
And here is the floor 11. We are going down to floor 10. Here is the level 10. And here is the level 9. And now we are going down to level 6. And here is the level 6, and we are now going to level 5, we are almost to the exit, so now we are going to the exit, and this car park spiral is just the same as the parkour spiral. But this car park spiral can, can go to any car park you like and you can start from any checkpoints you like after you park the cart and enter the parkour spiral. Alright, so here is the exit. And now here is the station lobby. There it is, the mine the minecart lobby station. And now let's talk about the basement car park spiral. Okay, I need to manage the track first. Change the track to basement. And now let's go to the basement spiral. Okay, here we go. The basement spiral is on the left lane. The upper floor is just going on this, just go straight. I mean on the right lane. And here it is, we are going down to the basement. Now we are entering the basement spiral. Here is what the basement car park looks like. Let's go all the way down to basement 5. Here is the basement too. As you can see, I'll go going straight again. Going to basement three. Here is the basement 3, two more levels to reach the bottom. And this basement car park doesn't have any access to start from any checkpoints you like on the parkour spiral. This basement car park is 
as the access to the parkour spiral but only start from the bottom of the parkour spiral. Alright, so here is the basement 4, one more level, just one more level, and then we reach the basement 5, the bottom floor. And after that, you can see there are two paths, one is going straight and one is going to the right. It's just the same one. It's the same path. I'll take the right path. You can see here, the, car, the basement 5 car park is on the left. And if you continue straight, you just go all, you just go around. And there's the elevator. And, and basement four, and exit the basement four, just going to the straight. I'll go left to go around again. Let's go to the left, enter the basement car park. You can see, I'll go and I'll leave the basement car park again. Let's let's go to the let's go inside of of this door to see what this place is. can see inside here inside this door these are the storage room on the left is the storage room and this and this door is going to the elevator operation system and this door is going to the staircase the basement staircase let's go back down just like that only there are only storage room and the elevator operating system room let's go back to the mine cart And let's go back up to floor 21 we are now at the basement 5 and and this will took a very long time to go all the way up to floor 21 Here is the basement 4. Here is the basement 3, just 3 more level to reach the ground floor, the floor 1.
here is the basement too. And we're almost to the exit. Here is the basement one. One more level. And there it is. Continue straight to the exit. And I decided to take the left because I want to continue to floor 21 to the rooftop so here it is So here it is, we are going up, going around again, just like the parkour spiral. And now we are at the level 5. We'll continue, we'll skip that. I managed the tracks, so it bypasses all levels and instantly brings to level 21. And the best things after you ride the car park spiral, you can start any from any checkpoints you like in the parkour spiral. After you reach the car after you reach your car park destination level. Here it is, we are now at the level 11. Oh, I mean 15. Now we are at the 16. Three more rounds. Here it is, we are now at the level 19. The residence car park. Two more levels. Now we are going to level 20. Here is the floor 20, just one more level, and we are reached to the top of the car park spiral. Okay, so the top of the parkour spiral is at floor 19, and the top of the 
car park spiral is on level 21. And here is and here we are. We reach the top floor. I'll decide to go to so this is the zone A on the right. I'll go take the zone B. I'll park at the loading car park. Here it is. We are going down, going all the way down to level one. I'll take the normal elevator. Because the exit is on the basement 1 and floor 3. I'll use the other staircase to take the exit. Alright, so now let's talk about the parkour spiral. But before that, I'll show you who made the building. So these are the characters who made the building. Now let's go to the parkour spiral. you can see this is not just a parkour spiral this is the parkour spiral that has a skip that can skip checkpoint all you have to do is go to the car park take the elevator go to the highest floor of the car park After that, go to the parkour spiral, and here it is. You and you just skip the checkpoint. And you can continue where you like. That's not just the skip point. That's that's not just the checkpoint that we can skip. Now, 
Let's talk about a type of car park. There are basement car park, economy class, premium economy, business class, first class, and loading car park. And this is the basement car park. It is only economy class on the basement car park. And out, there's also economy class on the upper floor. You can see this one is zone B. And this is and you can see and this is the zone A. This is the zone B. Let's go right the stair. So you can see this economy class is on this upper floor economy car park is on is up to floor five and and this is the floor five zone B and this floor five zone B car park is for staff only. Yep, stuff on the car bar. And now let's move on to the next one. The next one is a premium economy car park. And this premium economy car park starts from level 6 until level 10. And this is what it looks like you can see you have the furniture chest and the crafting table it has extra stuff now let's go to the top floor of the premium economy And now let's move on to the business class. Oh, I forgot there is something. Before we go to the business class, and we are going to ride the staircase spiral and you can also use the staircase spiral to skip checkpoint you can see And now you are in the floor 11 by skipping the checkpoint using a staircase spiral. And there is another skip on the parkour spiral. It's on the Iceland. Yep, on the on the three layer, on the third layer. And the jump is a little bit difficult. You must stand in the correct position to reach the ladder. You 
and here it is now I reach the ladder and this is the and we you can use the staircase spiral to skip you can see parkour spiral and if you want to continue the parkour use use the ladder to go down and not the ladder I mean there's another hole in it and and here it is you can skip the checkpoint again this parkour spiral that I built has a lot of skips you can do now let's talk about the business class car park first let's go down to the floor <coughs> And here it is. This is this is the business lounge. The lo this is the the floor, the lobby of the business car park. This is the lobby, the main lobby of the business class car park. Just like that, you can go all around. Now let's go back to floor eleven. So here is the business class car park looks like. You can see there are there are shuckler box, the replacement of chess, there are bookshelf, and there are beds, furniture and crafting tables. Now let's go to the top floor. see here the top floor of the business class car park is for stuff only you can see you need a key you need a key to use the stuff only car park and you can you are able to change track to the zone C this is the zone C car park. You can see. And there is another loading car park on the premium economy. Let's go all the way down. Before we go to the first class, I'll show you some. I'll show you another skips. You can see in here. Oops, let's try again. You can see here. You need to. You need to build you need to be careful a little bit and now you just go to the roof of the business class car park the rooftop you can do a skip another skip on the on the rooftop go to the first class car park 
before we go to first class. Let's go down to the to the main lobby of the first class car park. And you can see here, this is the first class lounge. It has it has a food you like to eat like a restaurant and it has a private library and some extra chairs food and drinks now let's go to the first class car park take the key first because this first class car park requires two keys you can see here one is for the piston And the other one is for the door. You see, after you get into the door, use the piston, and I mean put the lever to to reach the the piston. You can see there are chairs, there are four nets and crafting table, and there are three shelter boxes. And on the upstairs, there are chairs and there are beds. And there are lamps. And there are bookshelf. If you like to read a book. So now. Let's go to the residence car park. The residence car park is on floor 19 and 20. And here it is. This is what a residence car park looks like. There are front and a rear residence. You can see here. There are more sharkler box, four furniture and crafting tables. And this is the rear bedroom. It does have a chest. It has a banner to cover the window. And it has a large bathtub. There's a sink. And now let's go upstairs. On the upstairs, you have your you have your own private library. private bedroom there are four bedrooms and, and just like that and that's all Alright, last, the last one is the loading car park. The loading car park is on the top floor. 
before that okay, this is the the half of the floor 21 this is the middle floor 20 and the 21 and you can you can sit down on the chair and watch a wind view on the outside there's a now let's go to the floor 21 and this is what the loading car park looks like it only has two chests and there's my car and that's all Let's go back down to the, to the lobby. Open the exit. Alright, here we are. I'll go to the exit to floor 3. Alright, we're going to the exit, use the staircase. Alright, so that's all about, about the tour of the parkour spiral and tell us what do you think about the parkour spiral that I made and don't forget to like and subscribe my channel and comment below what you think about this parkour spiral And thanks for watching guys don't forget to like comment and subscribe my channel bye